Hi guys, I just thought I'd show you a quick tutorial on uh, how to drill your holes nice and neatly in your weapons. Uh, we've got a Dark Angels Terminator that I'm working on here, Deathwing Terminator. And uh, they obviously come with the Storm Bolters rather than the standard bolter for a Space Marine. And the best way I've found to drill any holes in gun barrels or anything like that is to first of all get your get a sharp sort of exacto knife or hobby knife, try and find the centre of the first barrel, just mark it slightly, and stick your blade in and twist it a little bit so you create the first pilot hole, you can see there. Not too worried about scraping the undercoat off at the moment, the primer, because obviously it's going to be repainted afterwards anyway. And it's always, I always find actually, uh, lots of people do this when it's in its grey plastic stage or whatever you've got resin. But I actually quite find it easier once you prime the model to do this. Uh, the reason being is it, it helps to show the different colours up easier. So as we can see there we've got two pilot holes ready to go. Uh, next thing we need is one of these. Let's try and get that in focus for you guys. And there it is. Uh, it's called a pin vice or a hobby drill. And as you can see right at the end there we've got quite a thin small drill bit and the good thing about I mean lots of people say oh you know do this by using one of those Dremel tools which I've got but I find it easier for the control to do it by hand because you can always control the speed of drilling in you don't need to go too far with these you only need to go probably not even a centimeter probably about three mil four millimeters as we can see there, let's pull that out. Sorry I'm knocking the camera guys. There we go, there's one hole done. And then find the pilot hole in the second. Oop, I was too busy watching the camera and not watching what I was doing. But that's okay because we can sort that out. Watch what I'm doing this time rather than the camera. Actually, we'll probably revisit this at another date because I've done a little bit of damage to the plastic on that gun drill because I wasn't watching what I was doing. Uh, sorry, on that bolter. We'll see in a minute. It's not a horrendous amount of damage as you'll see when I just clean the plastic up. <laughs> But we'll come back uh, in another video and talk about how you can repair things like that or how you can make it actually look like battle damage. Uh, the last thing that we need to do, let's just uh, take it out here a minute. Uh, we'll try and do this by hand now. Forgive me if it's a bit haphazard. Let's get this in focus. There we go. And on the side here, let's try and bring that in closer. I don't know if you can make that out properly, but uh, there's little ho little already indentations or holes ready for the drill bit to go through. So you don't need to uh, do a pilot hole for those. But you do need to try and keep it straight and take your time while you're doing it. Just do it nice and steady. Try and keep the drill bit level. As you're drilling, take your time because this drill bit will fly through plastic without a problem. You just want to make sure you go through nice and steady. Now, with that one, because it's quite a long hole that we've drilled through, <laughs> you sometimes get some bits in it, so I always find it's best, once you've drilled the hole one way, is to go back in the other side, and anything that's left over it will tend to pop out. And go give it a, a quick blow. get rid of that damage bit and we can show you some stuff we can do. Sorry. Let's get rid of that damage bit off there. There we go. Uh, quite glad that I actually damaged that because it will come in useful for another video later on. Uh, but as you can see it's fairly straightforward and we've got a nice neat line of the poles. Looks cool on the model. We've got a hole all the way through the centre. There we can see my finger through the hole. It's nice and neat. Like I say, if you've got any bits that are left in there, just run the drill bit through again. 
doesn't need to be boring the hole anymore. He's just going to pull out any loose plastic. And that's about it for this one, guys. Okay, see you in the next one. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, if you've got any questions or if you'd like to see anything else in any future videos, just let me know.